the wait is over, Tenno. Barrel Key Tear has arrived. Alright, so hey guys, welcome to Other Warframe video, and Barakatir has come once again and on PC he's on the Larunda Relay on Mercury. And oh my, it's quite the treat this time around. So first up, we have the Taxon Desert Camo Skin. This is, as you would expect, a Desert Camo Skin for Taxon that actually looks quite nice. But the star this time around is most definitely Primed Charged Shell, which at maximum rank is going to give you plus 165% bonus electricity damage on shotguns. This is quite crazy, but moving on from there, we have a full set of the Impact Event mod. So we have Pummel for pistols, Crash Course for rifles, Full Contact for shotguns, and then Collision Force for melee. Now following that, we have one of the best and most fun rifles in the game, the Supra Vandal. This is, for all intents and purposes, a Corpus minigun. It's incredibly fun to use, though it does require Mastery Rank 14. But if you are high enough mastery rank, this is, as I've said already, one of the best and most fun rifles in the game. He also brought Prova Vando, which is not a great weapon by any means, but it's a good sort of entry-level machete. It only requires mastery rank 3, it does pure electricity damage and has decent status chance. You can easily build it for proccing status and you won't have physical damage getting in the way. Next on the menu we have two frame skins, the first one being the Hydroid Immortal skin, which I'm not a massive fan of on the standard Hydroid, though it can look pretty decent on Hydroid Prime if you pick the right colors. And the second frame skin is the Zephyr Immortal skin, which I like a lot more than the Hydroid one. I think it looks pretty good on the standard Zephyr and it even looks decent with the right color scheme on Zephyr Prime. Moving on from there, we have a full set of the Prisma Daedalus armor, so the knee plates, the shoulder plates and the chest plate. This is a very decent set of armor, I particularly like the shoulder plates and I do use the knee plates here and there as well. He also brought the Barakatir Nogo statue, which is exactly what you would expect, it's just a Barakatir bobblehead that you can place wherever you want in your lie set. Now after that, we have one of my personal favorites, the Opticore Elixir skin. I'm a massive fan of the Elixir skins, I just love the little details and the overall look of the skins, so I'm super happy that they decided to expand the collection and this one is just, oh, so good. And speaking about cool skins, we have the Xyphos Prisma skin. This is also a fantastic looking skin, but this time around it's for the Xyphos Landing Craft. I like this one a lot, especially with the Prisma energy flowing through it. And we're slowly nearing the end with the Argyle display. And all this is, is just a display, go figure, that you can place in your light set. And the final item on the menu is, as always, the Sons of Inaros questline blueprint, which is the item you need if you want to get the Inaros Warframe. Now, my recommendation this time around kind of depends on how far you are into the game and how many resources you have, because if you can afford Prime Chart Shell, get it to a decent rank and make use of it, you should definitely get it. Shotguns are already pretty ridiculous as it is, but my god, if you can get this on a crit shotgun, so you will have Prime Point Blank, Prime Ravage, Prime Charge Shell, and maybe even a stupidly rolled ribbon, it's gonna be the most beautiful form of overkill there ever was. And at the same time, it will also help weaker shotguns by adding a little bit more damage to them. And after that, I just have to recommend Supra Vando, because as I've said over and over and over again, this thing is amazing. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is either cosmetic, I would not consider it worth it, or you can get it in other ways like the impact mods, which you can get by hunting Tridalons. But then again, this is just my personal recommendations. So if you want to buy the swag in cosmetics first, go right ahead. And as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.